On today's episode, we're going to get to see all of our hard work start to pay off. Hours of sanding and body work, and we're finally ready to paint this car. We're going to show you just how easy that is to do using the paint shop system. We're going to use the primer, color, and the clear coat and make this thing start to really look great. The first thing we're going to do is mask off all the areas that we've already painted. Since we built our own booth, we want to make sure to wet down the floor to keep any loose dirt and dust from coming up while we paint. Once that's done, our final step is going to be to take a tack cloth over the whole body of the car to make sure we get any loose dirt and dust off the vehicle. And you want to make sure to strain any paint that you use as you're putting it into the gun. This is going to help take any contaminants out of the paint and give you a nice smooth finish. When applying Paint Shop's primer, you want to put down two to three nice coats to give yourself a good finish for that top coat color to go over top of. We're going to let our primer dry for about 30 minutes. We're going to come back, get our color ready, put it in the gun, and be ready to spray. When applying any paint, you want to make sure to overlap a little bit with each stroke to make sure you're getting nice, even coverage on whatever panel you're painting. When applying your second coat, it might be a good idea to change your application pattern. This is going to help ensure even better coverage in the long run. So we've got two coats of our color down and our scout is starting to look awesome. Now if you remember, we took the roof off because we're going to paint that white. But we also want to do white on the insert here just to tie in with the roof. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tape this area off, paint it white, and then we're going to come back and hit the whole car with a gloss clear coat. So we used some vinyl fine line tape to mask off the center area here, and now we're going to work our way out from there, cover the rest of the car in plastic so we don't get any overspray on our blue, and go ahead and coat the front with white here. Just like with the blue, we're going to apply two to three nice even coats of the white until we get good coverage. So we got two coats of our white down and we let that dry for about 30 minutes. Now we're going to peel all this plastic and tape off and we're going to go ahead and clear the whole car. When we're removing the tape, we want to make sure to peel it nice and slow to keep a nice clean edge between our white and our blue. So we got all our paper off, our white is dry, and we're ready to go. We're gonna start hitting this whole car with clear coat. Make 
sure to overlap with each pass to make sure we're getting nice, even coverage. We've got three coats of our clear on here and this thing is looking great. Kristen's really going to love this. Now, we're really happy with the finish, but if you want, you can go ahead and lightly wet sand and buff it to bring out a little bit more gloss. So after all the body work we did, we used the paint shot system to seal it off, put down our blue base coat and our gloss clear coat. This thing is looking great. Remember to stay tuned as we continue to work on this International Scout. And for more information on Paint Shop and any other Duplicolor products, check out our website. And remember, yes you can in your garage with Duplicolor.